Welcome back to the Geospatials and in this tutorial you are going to look at an example of using OGR info. So if you have watched the previous tutorial you now know what OGR info is. The basic example of using OGR info is to check on the layers that exist within your spatial data set. Now this is easy. Just type in your command line or your terminal OGR info and the name of the file. Now guys relax before you go and look for your most favorite data set. This is the point of the tutorial where I introduce random GeoJSON. It's an application I created for generating random point, line or polygon GeoJSON data set within a user defined polygon. So I'm going to create some random point data and I'm going to just draw a bounding box and I'm going to show you how this tool works. So let's zoom into an area like, uh, let's say where I come from, Kenya, and draw a bounding box, or rather uh, an irregular polygon like that, and then generate point data. Let's generate 20 points and give them a few fields. We'll give it, um, let's say it's the we are mapping out um, a houses or yeah so a house can have a color it can have an address and let's say it also has uh, the number of people which can be integer now click on generate so you have 20 houses then let's download the data now I'm going to save this data set in somewhere favorable. So I'm just going to save this, create a folder. Let me call this folder um, OGR data. Then let's save it there. I'll rename it to um, houses houses like that now in your terminal we are going to go and write OGR info and then the name of the layer so before that let's change directory to our projects folder or wherever you have your database data saved then OGR info and the name of the data set in my case it's houses sorry I have to change directory and then OGR info houses .geojson. good so from the first thing you can see is that it's a geojson uh, data set and the layer that exists is houses. You can have more than one layers in a file and they'll all be listed here. Now, if you want to check um, some information about this houses layer, we simply add the name of the layer to the command. So OGR info houses.geojson and then the name of the layer. So our layer is called houses. So as you can see, um, you get a description of all of the features and their information. So it's an integer, it has a color, address, and now it's a point. Now we can also get a summary of the layer. So we know that all of these features share the same or let's say coordinate system or whatever it is so instead of printing out all of this information severally you can just get a summary of the whole layer by adding in the so uh, param parameter or argument you'll type ogr info not org ogr oh my god info and then summary and then the name of the file which is houses and then the name of the layer which is houses 
so you can see um, a summary of this layer is that uh, it's called houses the geometry is point the feature count there are 20 as we had said the extent and this is the bounding box and then we have the layers whatever the datum we also have the coordinate system so it's that easy guys now we can also restrict the output using the where query or command or the where parameter so we're going to use ro for read only and then where is going to insert the query for um, the output that you want followed by the data name source the data source name and then the layer earlier we had checked that the houses these are the features that exist so let's say we want to filter out exactly a house that has um, this number of people remember this is just um, an example so let's copy that and then now let's write our query so we'll write um, OGR info and then it's read only so if you add this slash it means you want to continue on the next line without finishing out the command or running it out then um, it's read only two we need to put in the query so you write uh, where and then the query itself within um, parentheses or rather quotation marks so it was integer which is the name of the field is equals to that then close and then the name of the layer which is the name of the data source which is houses.geojson and finally the name of the layer now as you can see it has brought us the specific house or feature that had this um, attribute and it was house number 18 let me just clear that if we check our full summary of all of the houses we see that house number 18 is exactly that the, the one that had this kind of um, attribute information so guys i hope you have made it this far and you have understood see you in the next tutorial and guys if these tutorials are helpful to you in any way consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to give this video a like bye